Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to integrate influx with Grafana, right? So in this session, we are going to learn how to in integrate influx DB with Grafana. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, here we need to understand what is influx DB. Okay, so as a time series database, influx DB specializes in efficiently storing and retrieving time stamped data, and it is designed to handle high volumes of time stamped data, making it ideal for applications such as monitoring system, metrics, tracking sensor data, and analyzing IoT device telemetry. Okay. So that's the short definition about influx DB. Okay. So here I mentioned the prerequisites to integrate influx with Grafana. So first of all, we need a AWS account with Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu instance. Okay. Ubuntu EC2 instance. The next is we need a basic knowledge of AWS services as well as Grafana. Okay. That's two prerequisites. We need this. So let's start. So first of all, we need to install Influx TB on Ubuntu. So as you can see here, I already installed my so or, or already launched my instance with the name Influx TB. And here, as you can see, I have connected to my terminal. So first of all, let's install Influx on Ubuntu. To integrate Influx DB with Grafana on Ubuntu, first we need to install it. So first of all, before you start, we need to update our package. Okay, so let's uh, let's update our package using sudo apt update command. Okay, it's done. After that here, we need to import the repository gpg keys to install this. So I'm going to install using curl command. So okay, it's done. After that, add the influx db apt repository. So I'm going to add this repository. Okay, it's done. Now let's clear the screen. Okay. After that, let's update the apt index again. So as you can see, it's up to date. 52 packages can be upgraded. Okay. Now it's time to install influx db. So let's install. So the command is sudo apt install influx db2. So yes, I want to install. So as you can see, it's installing influx db. So, okay, it's done. So, I'm going to clear my screen first. Now, after that, we need to start our influx TV. Then, we need to enable our influx TV. And if you want to check the details of your influx, then you can enter the command sudo system CTR status influx TV. So, as you can see, it's active run. Okay. It's done. We have successfully installed Influx TV on Ubuntu. Okay. Now it's move to stay a second step. The second step is we need to install Grafana. Okay. So as you know how to install Grafana. So first of all, we need to import the GPG keys using the Grafana package. So let's import the GPG keys after installing Influx. Now we need to add the Grafana repository to the APT resources. So enter to continue. Okay. After that now, let's add in the repository to update the package list. Okay, now it's time to install Grafana. So yes, I want to install. So 
So as you can see, it's installing Rafana on Ubuntu 2.04 LTS. So it takes few seconds. Okay, it's done. Okay. Now after that, after installing, we need to start and enable our Grafana server. So I'm going to run this command to start and enable Grafana. Now, if you want to check the status, then you can run also status command to check the status of your Grafana. As you can see, it's active running. Okay. Now it's time to access Graph9 browser. So how to access? So first of all, you need to public IP of your instance. And the Grafana port number is 3000. So as you can see, we are going to log into our Grafana. Okay. So that's a page of login. You can see it's a loading. So wait a second. Okay, welcome to Grafana email or usernames. First of all, here to log into Grafana, so the default user and password name is admin and password also admin, as you can see. Okay, so click on login. Okay, never now update your password. So, if you want to change your password, then you can update your password. So, as of now, I'm going to skip this. So as you can see, welcome to Grafana. This is the Grafana dashboard. Okay, it's done. Right. Now let's move to the third step, setup InfluxDB. We have successfully installed this InfluxDB. After that, Grafana. Now we need to set up the InfluxDB. So how to set up? To set up credential for connecting to Influx, use the following command. Okay. So we have successfully installed InfluxDB. Now we need to set up the InfluxDB. So how to set up? So first of all, I'm going to run this command to set up my InfluxDB. And I'm going to clear the screen. And here, as you can see, you can see here, first of all here, we have run sudo influx setup hyphen u admin. Hyphen u means username. Our influx db username is admin. Hyphen p means password. Our influx password is admin at the rate 24. Okay. And o means organization. Our organization name is FOSS techniques. And b means my bucket. Bucket name is my bucket. T means token. My token name is my token. Okay. So that's the setup. So now let's log into our influx. Okay. So how to log in? Here you can see. Now open the influx by providing the, your public IP address. As you can see. Open the influx by providing the public IP address 8086 port number. Okay. So let's log in. So copy your public IP. Hit on browser and the port number is 8086 for influx. So as you can see, login. So as you can see here, I mentioned you miss username. Username is admin. And here, p means hyphen p means password. So here is my password. If you want to change the username and password, then you can also change via when you or enter the command. Okay, so click on sign in. Never. So as you can see, get started, write a query data using programming language of your choice and so on. You can see the influx dashboard. So you have successfully installed influx as well as you have successfully set up to influx. Okay, now it's time to move fourth step okay so here is the fourth step so we need to add influx as a data source in grafana so how to add so first of all we need to open the grafana ui and in the left corner click the connections and open so open the data source okay so let's go to the grafana click on this menu bar and click on this connections and here we need to go to the data source so here click on this data source 
After that, here you can see the third option, InfluxDB. So we need to choose this InfluxDB. Okay. So after that, as you can see, name InfluxDB, query language Influ InfluxDB. Let's scroll down. Here you need to enter your InfluxDB URL. Okay. So I'm going to open, uh, copy this my URL from here to here. Let's paste here. Okay, now let's scroll down and go to the okay, just a second. Okay, here in query language, we need to change this influx QL with the flux. We need to change this flux and oh, here we you need to enter your URL. Okay, I'm going to change this influx TV to flux and you need to enter the url after that here let's scroll down and here you need to enter your organization name so my organization name is force techniques right as you can see my organization name is force techniques so i'm going to enter here the name of my organization after that we need to enter a token so our token name is my token right so we have mentioned here my token you can see right my token okay so I'm going to enter my token. After that, it will ask our bucket. So my bucket name is also my bucket. Okay, my bucket. Okay, so let's enter here. So I'm going to enter my bucket name also here. Okay, it's done. Right, now click on this save and test. So here we have changed first of all this name, uh, query language flux. After that, we need to enter the URL. After that, in influx DB details, we need to fill these details, organization, token, and default bucket. Click on save and test. After that, you can see the message data source is working. Three buckets found. Three buckets found. Okay, it's done. Right, it's done. Now, it's done. We have successfully uh successfully complete this fourth step okay we have successfully add the data source in graph now now it's time to go to the fifth step we need to enter the flux query okay so now here we need to select the explore option from the home bar okay so let's go to the home page of graph now and you click on this open menu and as you can see the explore so click on this explore and here in the explore, enter the query buckets on line one and click on the run query bucket. Okay, button. Okay, so we need to enter the query bucket. And here we need to click on this query run query. just a second first of all we need to click on this explore okay after that we are here we need to enter the buckets right let's refresh the page again go to the explore enter the bucket now click on the run query just a second, it take a few seconds. As you can see, the data. Okay, it takes few seconds to run. Uh, if your connection, if your internet connection is slow, so that's why it takes few seconds, right? So as you can see the data, you can see, this query will run the retry information about the bucket store in your instance. After executing the query, you will see the table displaying and the list of buckets. So as you can see, among the display bucket, you will notice two internal influx buckets, right? Name, monitoring and task, right? And these buckets are usually internally by influx TV for monitoring and task management purpose. And the third bucket list is called my bucket, right? So which was created earlier using the influx setup command and the bucket was specifically set up for storing your data and it's where you will store your own time series data for analysis and visualization.
right so that's it so you can see the buckets okay so it's done so in this session we have learned how to integrate influx tv with grafana so in this session first of all we have installed influx tv then we have installed grafana then we have set up our influx tv after that we have added influx tv as a data source in grafana and last we have entered the flux query and the output is here so that's it so in this session we have learned how to integrate influx with influx db with grafana so thank you for watching and i hope you understand